Hello everybody and welcome back to this war of mine. Now I have messed up badly. Because I was going to try write my own story on my own to see if I could maybe, you know, do another story for that afterwards after I'm done with this playthrough. And it looks like this war of mine only has a single save slot, which is the current uh episode that you're playing and I lost my my story the one that I was playing so we're gonna have to restart I'm sorry about this uh, I guess it's I, it's my fault I didn't really check if I could use more than one story at a time I thought it would be logical that it is possible but it's not so <sighs> So we're going to do another try, and instead of taking Pablo Bruno Marco again, because we had those already, we'll, we're going to take another one, and yeah, we'll, it says you will lose your current progress, but that is actually, I was trying to restart the game that I was already playing, and uh, it didn't restart the game, so it started a new one which is the progress that we're losing now. So we're going to start with new survivors. I'm sorry about that. Hope you guys are okay with that. Day one, <laughs> we're back. Progorin is is our thing again. Oh, it's a different house too. What the hell? I didn't know that was possible. There they are, my survivors. One, two, three. He just sat down <laughs> with a force. Hello, start the game. There we are. When the civil war broke out, many people thought it would only last a couple of weeks. It's been years since government and military surrounded the rebels in the capital, cutting off all supply lines. Civili the civilian population trapped in the city are suffering from hunger, disease, and shelling. Katya met both Pablo and Bruno before the war. She used to be a reporter. While Bruno had his own television cooking show, Pablo was the star of the local football team. Katya even interviewed him once. Now they may meet in dramatically different circumstances, looking for food and shelter. So, let's see. Um... Yeah, we're, we're going to stay inside during daylight. You are right about that. Card Katya. Clear that out. You, my friend, clear that out. You. Go upstairs and clear, clear that out. Oh, you have to. It's locked. Okay. Actually, then I want you to... Wait, our things... That's... Why is it jumping back and forth? Wait, what's going on? Why are things... Why are things running? Grab all. Alright. There we go. And I want you to go there. So Pablo is still a fast runner. Bruno is a good cook. And Katya is a... Grab all. A bargainer. Alright. Grab that. be running around. I have a workbench right there. I'm definitely gonna need a bed. I could really use a shovel, yeah. Not gonna happen anytime soon, I'm afraid. It's taking so long without a shovel, it really is. I'm sorry about this guys. I'm I'm so disappointed that we cannot continue the, the old story, but I really didn't think it would be such a problem. <laughs> but I guess... Grab it all. What do we got in there? Jump up there and walk in there. Oh no! Wait, what? Oh, yeah, obviously. 
so I'll go up there instead to cut you. He just stuck that away. I need Pablo to go to the uh, open this lock. So many things that can't be opened here. Yeah, bed. We'll definitely make a bed. Where are we going to sleep? We are going to sleep... Down here, I think. Yeah. Place. So you go down there as well. You break open that door. We seem to be in the, in the outskirts a little more than last time. Um, we'll definitely need a metal workshop. Let's place that back here. And Bruno, get that. Grab all. That's it. Yeah. We even have some bargaining tools now. We're gonna need a, a bit of a stove, but we already don't have enough stuff anymore. That sucks. Yeah, I'm, I'm not gonna use that right now. Yeah, we will stay inside during daylight. That much is clear. Definitely gonna make a couple lock picks right now. So I need at least th actually I need three. <sighs> you have a fever, eh? Have a rest. Grab all. If I can make a couple more lock picks, because I will need at least two more. I can make one more. That's okay. Crash. Uh, not definitely. Hey, dude, keep going. Yeah, we might not make it all the way through things. I mean, it's almost seven o'clock. Seven o'clock is the night, so cut. Yeah, Paul, we don't have Marco anymore. Marco was our amazing. Oh, it's eight. Eight is the night, actually, or seven thirty. Marco was our amazing scavenger that we had. Hurry up! Hurry up! Hurry up! Hurry up! Oh, you're gonna be late. 30 minutes to get to the third floor. Alright. <laughs> Ruined Villa, Quiet House. That's... Yeah, we're not going to steal. This time I'm going to be very, very nice. Not steal. They say some people still live there. Try to steal. Yeah, we'll just grab what we can. Oh, wait. Should probably set up a thing. Maybe I can bargain with them. You are gonna sleep and you're gonna guard. Katya goes out. Despite the devastation. Actually, it looks like 
I might have to. Where's the food you're talking about? Where's that person going? Let's climb down into the basement. Grab some stuff here. talking. I'd have to find and steal some food though. Try from the other side, okay. Here's something. What do you hear? There's nothing here, huh? <laughs> Can you please go? It's just the wind. Don't worry. Oh, she's going back in there. Oh. stolen yet. And I did say I was going to, but a lot about a man called Emil. Apparently he owns this house treating his wound. Oh, she moved in, he began to reconcile with his wife's death. At least two found some consolation in this mess. That's good. So there's two people in the house. leaving. 